On this year's episode of Sailing the Space Between, we're going to visit Cheeseburger in Paradise, we're going to fix our bilge, and we're going to see the sights of Treasure K. Stay tuned. This current crazy world has made you want to sail away with us. Check out our website, sailtsb.com, for more info. And you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and bell. It doesn't cost you a dime, and at the pace we put out videos, it won't annoy you either. We are on Adventure Time, Exploration Day to Marshaboo and possibly further south. Desolate Drive. There are new, what do you call them, power poles? Is that what we're calling them? Going up. There's a lot of them lying on the side of the road still, but there's some up. all new over here already. Yep, there's new power over here. We had breakfast with Miss Florence at Florence's. She's up and running great and um, in good spirits. Happy to see the white folks, she said. <laughs> I didn't realize I gotta edit that out. Why? Why do you have to edit that out? She said it. Anyway, okay, edit, cut, whatever. I think it's okay to say she said it. Lawrence is very happy to see. White folks. Two tourists back to treasure. She said we were very refreshing to see. Rolling into Marsh Harbor, you can see the building supply uh, store here. It looks closed, but it's open, as is the hardware store. They have not reopened it. But they are rebuilding it. This used to be the strip center. They're just now getting the roof back on after two years. But it's good to see that things are starting to recover. All these mom and pop stores and restaurants that were in here, though, they're gone. And after talking to some locals, they're not coming back. There's Maxi Wells. We'll get some video of it later when we go in for lettuce. But it's not until you get down to the marina where things get very evident of what went on. Almost everything is destroyed. That restaurant was brand new. But this is where Curly Tails and the other resorts were. And they were totally demolished. They are rebuilding them from scratch. But that whole area where Moorings was is all now being having to be rebuilt. You can see some of the docks are getting done out there, and then some of them aren't. They've got these new PVC pilings out here, though. I'll be real interested to see how that turns out. I think it's going to be a lot more sturdy than the old uh, wooden piling. On the back side of town, though, the ferry terminal's back up and running. Can't really go inside any of these buildings because they're not finished, but they are making their runs out to, you know, like Hopetown and uh, Guana, and running their regular ferry schedules. But with very limited choices here in Marsh Harbor, we decided to head down to Little Harbor and check on an old place that we used to really enjoy. Oh, there. Oh, shit. Wow. It's still quite a ways. Oh, yeah. It's like Pizza's over all the way on the other side. This is the cave. Pete's Pub is a staple around these parts. So if you're ever in Marsh Harbor, it's just a 20-mile run down to Pete's, and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. While we usually come to Pete's by boat, this time, we decided to try by land. Yeah, yeah. Of huh. the slow children. In case you don't know what a slow child looks like. <laughs> exactly. Just in case you are unaware what a slow children is when you they trip over that, that's one. <laughs> Here on the island, if you want to read a book, you read a book. And then you bring it back and someone else can read it. Yes. It's a book swap. It's a book swap. What a great idea. Next time we are here on the boat, I will bring a book to swap out. Is there any good ones right now? Shoot the moon. Mm -hmm. That is cool. That is cool. Very cool. We were pleasantly surprised knowing that Little Harbor didn't sustain that much damage. They did take a little bit. Most of the stuff was still there. With our bellies full, we decided we were going to go ahead and head back towards Treasure Key and get ready 
for the shit show that was to ensue the next day. But on our way back, we decided to take a little shortcut and see what the coast itself looked like. So we headed out to Snake Key to the old ferry landing to see how the shore looked. So apparently, 4th of July may have been had here. There's broken beer bottles. Oh, uh, 12 gauge shells. I would stand up here, but then I'd be doing my own stunts again. Scott said there was bullet holes. Oh, and there's a can out on yonder with bullet holes in it. Yeah, we found the Bohemian shooting range. Do not do that. I know, because I'd be doing my own stunts again. I'm not sure if the Key West videos are going to make it in line prior to the Bohemian videos, but this one broke her face in Key West. I do my own stuff. I'm going to flash back right now, Scott. Flash back to the pictures of Cindy all foobard. Yeah, but I was a good sport. She was a good sport. She is the best sport. Hey, when you're dumb, didn't cry a lick. But for those of you out there that ask, obviously there are guns in the Bahamas. And the bass keeps running, 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 running. And so it begins. The other crew arrives from the airport. Hi, honey. Hi. Let's get this party started. What'd you bring? Lots of shit? Yeah. Hi. More shit than we need. On this year's episode of Sailing the Space Between, we're going to visit Cheeseburger in Paradise. We're going to fix our bilge. And we're going to see the sights of Treasure K. Stay tuned. Well, we have Adam working like normal. Cindy sunbathing and drinking water like normal. Pretty water. Scott sailing. Where are we headed? Turtle. Turtle. What for? Uh, Time travel juice because we run out. Time travel juice? Yeah, it's kind of like a um, plutonium time machine. <laughs> uh -uh. Time travel juice. Time travel juice. Better known as this assembly of Green Bay Smashers. Yes. Apparently, we're really low on it. The tanks are empty, so we're going to need two gallons. Two gallons of it. Let's see what eight people on two gallons of Goombays looks like. So? <laughs> <laughs> Stay on the other side of the fence, Scott. Where, what was it? Kilroy was here? Yeah. Jerry, would you like to? Nope. How many people have you had on your dinghy at one time, Scott? Eight. Those cards says seven. Eight? I mean seven. Seven? On, on no, video, nine. seven. Oh. Seven. We got a... Per maritime law, how many? Slippery, yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's and we're coming, we're gonna be coming back after some Goomba smashes, so. Yeah, so, yeah. And don't so step not here to get tested. No. Yeah. Okay. Don't step on the well, tongs. Gonna... That's gonna be a warning right there. It didn't take long to figure out that Green Turtle had taken a pretty good beat from Irma. So this is, what, Main Street? I don't know what the name of this street is. office. Customs office is not looking like they're having customs inside there. Some people are building though and some people are not. Right next to the jail. Hello. We are so happy to hear see you're back open Thank just in you. time for us to come. Slowly but surely getting there. Coming through. You still sell it by the gallons, right? Me too. Okay. I'm still waiting on my ice. I don't know what's going on. Uh oh. No ice. Alright. She says she'll be back shortly. She went to the club. Alright. Well, were we going we, uh, to reserve? wander or? Yeah. We're going to reserve two gallons? Let's... Okay, that's fine. We'll pay you now if you want. I can be able to do that. It's fine. Don't let them go. I won't. I've it's seen them sell out. out. I've seen them go away. So after getting our order in with Miss Emily's daughter, we headed over to Pineapples to see what kind of trouble we could get in over there. Moonbay mission was successful. Should that be zippered? It wasn't zippered Dude, earlier. Adam and I were walking back from Miss Emily's. 
people were like, oh, where's the party? Wait, wait, wait stop, hang on. Yeah, hold we could have been to four time. different places. Yeah. yeah you could have, you could have probably could have sold them three times over and made money on the way Some little guy comes out of the woodworks. He's like, how old are you? And I'm like, uh, 53. And he goes, oh, you're going to have a party tonight. And I'm like, what the hell did my age have anything right? to do with that? I want to make sure you were uh, old enough to There is no a... old enough to drink in the Bahamas. Right. You... Hey, hey, maybe it was when they first walked up the bar. Hey, do you remember the one bar out here where we caught music? Successful day. Good day. Good day. Well, the weather that day had not cooperated with us too bad. No sooner did we get back to the boat, it lifted, and the rest of our crew showed up. Courtesy of Chasing Tail Express. Alright, I'm going to call this a success. The swap's being made. Now it was time to head over to Fiddle to claim our spot for Cheeseburger. Don't forget to join us next week for Cheeseburger in Paradise.